crypto markets bouncing around this week with Bitcoin back above $40,000 after yesterday's uh, weakness. The cryptocurrency hit a low of about 32000 earlier this week as well. Joining us now to discuss is Michael Novogratz, Galaxy Digital founder and CEO. Mike, thanks for joining us this morning. Um, Thank you. There was a lot of pointing to that report, which was questionably sourced and then batted down, at least in terms of the timeline around Amazon uh, and its cryptocurrency plans is the reason that we saw Bitcoin climb back above 40K. How do you see the pricing action here? What do you think has been driving it? Listen, yeah, crypto loves a rumor like that. And uh, that was never confirmed. And no one really thought that was happening. Uh, crypto's bounced back because institutions are buying, right? If you saw like FTX, which is a offshore exchange raised $900 million uh, at an $18 billion valuation from some of the best investors in the world. I think that sent a signal to the whole crypto market that this isn't going away, that institutions want to pile money and the smartest investors in the world are participating. And that got the shorts covered. And so this was partly a big short covering rally and partly recognition that this is a real market that's not going anywhere. Yeah, there's been a lot of back and forth, particularly in the past week or two, about the argument or I guess people trying to bat down critics, trying to bat down the argument that uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are an inflation hedge. Given the fact that we are coming into comments and more policy uh, details from the Fed today, how do you see it? Are there are there holes that have been pun been punched into that argument around it being an inflation hedge, given some of the action we have seen in recent weeks, recent months? Let's remember that, you know, Ethereum is six years old and Bitcoin is 13 years old. So we're still very early in the adoption of these, these new technologies and these new assets. Um, people are buying Bitcoin because they have worry that our fiscal and monetary policy is out of control. And so, yes, it's a broader debasement of currency hedge. It's an broader debasement of fiat money hedge. Uh, that's mostly an inflation hedge. It doesn't mean it's going to go tick for tick with every CPI number. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.